All right, guys. So let's uh, do kind of a you know a different uh, build for caramel arrow as well as um, using the pomegranate as well as herb. So a lot of players in the top ranking are also using this team. I know Code did show a variation of this uh, team, which is going to use content instead of herb. But the reason why herb is going to be a bit better than content is because even though you sacrifice some you know stun as well as damage from or stun damage as well as heal uh, from cotton herb is going to not only focus on healing but will also purify some of the debuff and that is going to counter as uh, eclair as well as caramel arrow okay so caramel arrows um you know arrow uh that stacks up the arrow mark is actually considered a debuff as well and that is the reason why when you do use uh herb and purify that stack then they're not gonna be able to deal that true damage uh, to you and a lot of people are using caramel oil right now inside of the arena so it is going to be a good way to counter that you know true damage all right so here we go toppings real quick I'm gonna be using five solid almond for uh, dark account focusing on damage resist is going to be the main thing as well as crit resist if you guys can um, attack speed as well as cooldown is uh, optional I would say uh, but mainly focusing on damage resist. And the next one is going to be Caramel Arrow. I'm going to be trying out two different builds for Caramel Arrow. I'm going to be using 5 Searing Raspberry as I, I did before. Using uh, 25 or about 25% damage resist as well as having the highest attack speed. And then later on, I'm also going to be using a different build with 3 of the Juicy Apple Jelly for some crit. As well as 2 Solid Almond for extra damage resist. And the next one is going to be Pomegranate. Pomegranate is going to be using 5 Swift so Chocolate. Focusing on damage resist, cooldown is, you know, doesn't need to be crazy high either. And then next one is going to be Eclair. Eclair is going to be using 5 Swift Chocolate, focusing on damage resist. And the next one is also going to be Herb with 5 Swift uh, Chocolate, focusing on damage resist. Cooldown is optional as well, alright? So here we go, let's uh, try this team out. Uh, just want to let you guys know the treasures are going to be the Scythe, the uh, Enchanted Rope for the extra attack speed as well as a scroll. All right, so let's go. Here we go. We're gonna do a uh, easy run first uh, with a team that's not gonna be like super maxed up, but let's just see how strong this team can be and the skill order of each uh, cookie. Here we go. So first of all, it's going to be Caramel Arrow, Pomegranate, Eclair, Herb. Herb is gonna just you know allow you to come out of some of the stuns and things like that, whatever it is. You know, debuffs from uh, Dark Cow as well, except for the injury, but man, as you can see, very, very easy and swift victory. Camera oh, just does so much damage. Just so much damage. All right, guys, here we go. Another team, this time around, a lot stronger, right? We have uh, Hollow Berry instead. So the reason why Pomegranate is so, so, so strong right now is because of that 30% extra attack. And with someone like caramel arrow where she is able to deal pure damage right and being able to have that immunity and continuously strike up to three enemies with her arrows is just so strong right now so it really really uh works out well with someone like eclair as well as herb so here we go so right now currently i am still using five searing raspberry so if you guys are wondering what topping i'm using for caramel arrow it's going to be searing raspberry and you can see right here it doesn't matter about Sea Fairy, it doesn't matter about uh, Frost Queen. Camera Oil is just going to be standing in the back and still going to be shooting away. You know, that immunity is just so good. You see? And having that attack buff again is just like, wow. Super, super strong right now, too. And full, full HP, guys. Full HP. 2.4 million damage and once again it's five searing raspberry right now for caramel arrow here we go another team this time around i'm going to be used switching out of uh, five searing raspberry and we'll be trying out the hybrid build of juicy apple jelly with a uh almond all right so you know this kind of team half of it it reminds you of uh the old very old team that we used to have herb pomegranate and it used to be someone like dark choco licorice you know and i forgot what the last one was someone like you know latte espresso espresso it was yeah it was espresso you know pomegranate espresso uh espresso herb dark choco licorice it was kind of like that that was a og meta but now we have herb and pomegranate back up uh into the ring so here we go i'm gonna be using the uh juicy apple jelly and two solid almond here and see how well that one works out 
and see how much damage that does. Here we go. So, I would say if you are planning to find a substitute for pomegranate, it probably will be cotton. Do I recommend it? I probably won't recommend it because you're going to be losing out on a lot of extra damage that Caramel Arrow is able to do. Uh, but I would say right now, it's not a bad idea to invest and try to, you know, level up Caramel Arrow uh, for your team, you know, and Pomegranate. So there you go. Just look at that. So much damage. Three million damage. Okay, of course, this kind of battle did last a bit longer. So, of course, the damage is going to be a little higher than it was before. So, but, I mean, that crit damage is pretty good, too. Here we go. Another team double tank. Caramel Arrow. Pomegranate. Eclair still is able to, you know, cast uh, his spell even though he's frozen. So, that's another, you know, perk that we have. And then Pomegranate. Caramel Arrow goes to the back and is able to... Wow, that was close. That one was close. I gotta say, that one was a bit close. But we were still able to, you know, beat them uh, with this. And 1.4 million damage from Caramel. <laughs> so, I want to try this team out against a T-Night comp. Except this time around, instead of using, um, using Juicy Apple Jelly, I'm going to be using Searian Raspberry, trying to kill that uh you know t knight at faster come on come on you can do it uh, t knight oh wait we might ah, i don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it to be honest i think i have a feeling t knight's gonna be the last one standing yeah oh wait wait, wait. we might actually be able to beat it here though it's going to be a long shot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Still possible. Woo! Okay. So we did last enough uh, to beat the team. I was close. That was really close. Five star T9. And we're still able to beat it. I would say that was, I mean, that was scary. That was scary. But the fact that you're able to beat a T9 team with this comp. I would say right now, having that one-shot team, right? One-shot Kumio uh, gingerbread comp that I shared with Caramel Arrow. If you're versing a T9 comp, just switch it to this kind of team. And then you might be able to, you know, just beat the T9. Alright guys, another T9 comp. This one's a little bit different. They don't have the remedy, but they do have the uh, feather. Which is going to allow one of these two to come back uh, one more time before. Uh, and just kind of destroy my back line but we'll just try it out five singing raspberry once again so let's see how well it works out here we go oh they have almond too oh this one's gonna be this one's gonna be tough look at that Ooh, this one's gonna be tough a bit, a bit scary here guys but we might be able to kill T Knight. Oh! Okay. That was a bit scary, but because of the fact that they do have a feather. So, here's the one bad thing about having a almond as well as having a feather is that sometimes T Knight does die earlier uh, than your almond as well as Sea Fairy. So, not bad, not bad. I mean, does this mean that T Knight comps are all gonna disappear? No, it does not. Right, but you can see how strong Caramel Arrow is, right? Because back then, you know that the counter to a T9 comp was having Sorbet, right? Having Sorbet to chip away and eat away at the tanks in the front rather than attacking the cookies in the back. That was the reason. But because of the fact that you have Caramel Arrow now, you could just deal you know, AOE damage to three cookies, as well as deal that extra pure damage to uh, someone like T-Knight or Dark Cow. So that's the reason why Caramel Arrow is so strong right now. And then with the combination of having someone like Pomegranate to extra, to give that extra 30% attack, uh, having Eclair to have that 25% weakness, as well as Herb to purify any uh, debuffs that Dark Cow, as well as Caramel Arrow and Eclair, that, 
you know, may, the an enemy team might have is just really, really, really good. All right, so what I want to tell you guys right now is that, yes, you know, people might think that every cookie is breaking the meta. Um, of course, Alfogado did not have a chance to. So we did go a whole month without having an arena change, right? Really, except for T Knight just dominating the arena. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know about that. But, uh, you know, Camera Arrow right now is really, really strong, guys. Camera Arrow is going to be one of the best cookies to use inside of the arena. Of course, you can use her inside of World Exploration as well as maybe Gil Boss Battle. I haven't really seen any uh, team in Gil Boss Battle just because of the fact that she does have an 18 second cooldown, really, for her skill. So I would say that's the only bad side. That's why she's probably mainly going to be used in uh, arena. So if you guys do want to try this team out, I would recommend you guys do. Uh, it is going to be one of the very standard team now. And once again, Pomegranate and Herb are going to be making a comeback because of Caramel Arrow. And just because there's so many different debuffs now, right? We have Eclair that stacks debuff, right? Then we have Caramel Arrow who's going to stack debuff. We have uh, Dark Cow who's also going to be causing debuffs. So it's definitely, definitely going to be something that a lot of people are going to start using once again. And Cotton is going to get pushed down a little bit. Uh, out of the mandatory slot and become a more of a optional slot for a healer slash support. 